Hey guys, this is Joe popping on and today I have almost the complete set now of Barto. I did, I went out and I did wind up picking up the rest of them. Um, as I said, I am watching the show. It is uh, different for me, um, but I, I am enjoying it and I thought, you know what? Well, I can, I am going to pick up um, the rest of the set. And it is an interesting show. And uh, once again, I am giving it a shot and I'm, I'm gonna run with it to the end because that's the way I do things. I just, I really, I stick with something. I stick with it for decades. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm the guy you want in your corner because I'll stick with you to the very bitter end. Alrighty, but here we go. Let's take a look at these ones one by one. I got Barto. He looks really cool. I love the design they did, especially for the stand um, design they did for his feet um, with the little cloud. Uh, I, I really like how they did that. They started doing it with um, some of the um, Dragon Ball Z characters and they are some of my favorite ones because they stand amazingly well and it gives some depth to the character design um, of the figure. It just gives it extra oomph. So there we go. Let's, let's pop him open and we'll take a quick peek at him. Excellent. Nice. Again, he looks really nice. Once again, as I said before, I don't understand really why Barto has such a stick up his butt. Um, he's got a really big attitude problem, and it's because his dad's the Hokage and is not always a lot able to be there. And I'm like, oh, come on. I'm like, your dad really loves you. I'm like, and you can tell. <laughs> it's like, oh. But. The figure looks great. I like. I, I really like, as I said, this cloud design. Um, it gives the character a really nice uh, feel. Um, like it's him doing like the shadow clone jutsu, which I think is once again very funny that they had him pretty much copy his father um, and being like, "Oh, I can do the shadow clone jutsu, no problem." And at actually one part, Naruto actually asks him like. Did you steal the scroll and learn it like I did? And uh, he's like, well, no, what the hell scroll is that? And he's like, oh, no, never mind. No, uh, nobody would ever do that. <laughs> uh, which is just very funny because, as I said in a previous video, like Barto is apparently like a prodigy in this one, uh, but he's also a copy of Naruto. <laughs> so he's like Naruto at his best, but at the beginning. <laughs> which is just very strange. And then we got... Um, Sarada. Uh, very weird name. Uh, I like the character. It's the child of Sasuke and Sakura. Uh, Sakura. Um, I do like her with her mom, Sakura. Um, I like their interactions. I think it's very cute. Um, she is very much like her mom, but with also an attitude problem like her dad. It's, 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 it's a nice melding of the two characters. Um, but once again, I feel really bad for her for the fact that like Sasuke is never there in her life, like to the point that Sasuke didn't actually recognize her when they first met. Um, it's really sad, and I think it's kind of funny though that also that she wears her mom's original outfit, but she has her dad's logo on the back. And uh, and I do also like in that one episode with her when she's trying to find out like really who are her parents blah 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 um that's like there's an anime trope which oh they both have classes they must be related and they do that in the show <laughs> uh, which is just really funny uh this one's a really nicely made figure i love the way they did the glasses for her because her hair always covers in front of the glasses but in this one they kind of cut the glasses to mold around the hair and it's a really nice way of doing it it's a very cool design i very much like it excellent and then, of course, there's going to be the third member in their team, which is Mizuki. I always have to double check how to say his name because I always feel I'm saying it wrong, but that is how you say his name, Mizuki. Uh, he's really cool. Um, I, I kind of like what they're doing with his design um, because he is the son of Orochimaru, which I was shocked when um, like they introduced him as a character. And you, of course, you see him using snakes, so you automatically assume it's Orochimaru. And I'm like, Really? They're doing that? And they are. Um, it's, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I do like how they're doing it. Uh, he's a cool character, and he's just very much enamored with Barto. Like, Barto has, like, his same thing his father did uh, with, like, the ability to, like, kind of bring people together. Uh, I do like on this one, it has one, like, electric snake. Um, I'm not sure how well the electric snake shows up, but it looks really great. 
Um, he does look very good. His outfit looks very true to the characters in the show. Once again, I do love the stand um, that they're doing with the electric, so it's like coming out of the ground like it does in the show. But it also gives the figure more of a base. Uh, it's just a very nice way to do it. Um, yeah, they did a really good job with this one. Um, very cool. And then, of course, I did wind up picking up Mizuki in his Sage Mode, which is very cool. They're doing something new, uh, which apparently, like, Orochimaru even says to him, like, this is something I cannot do. Um, like, this is something very unique to you and you alone. But it was very weird when, if you see the episode with it, uh, how they kind of keep erasing his memories till he gets this moment right. <laughs> like the way they want it to kind of unfold, which is very messed up. <laughs> so let's take a look at this one. This one's a cool one. It does glow in the dark, which is really nice. Uh, I do love it when uh, figures glow in the dark, but this one looks really cool. So this was him when he's like training with Orochimaru. Uh, he does in this one have three electric snakes and they are blue in this one and they are sure all glow in the dark. Uh, they look really nice. He does grow a horn in this mode, and his hair goes like Super Saiyan, and he gets that weird thing around the eyes. Um, I did wind up seeing this figure before I actually watched the show, and I was like, wow! I was like, who is this? Like, the name they really didn't mean anything to me. To be really honest, when I first read its name, I didn't realize it was the same name as the other character in the run, which was kind of like, oh brain fart on my part but I was like oh my god because it kind of made me look like Guy a little bit but it was him and I just was like wow and it's got like the sword on his back and everything like that if you guys can see um, it looks really cool these ones they did really nice I do love how they do all the anime ones they really have a nice job because anime is very stylized and Funko is very stylized and they do a nice partnering so these are the two um, Mitsuki's they look really cool as I said like I couldn't I didn't actually realize they were the same character at first because of this and as I said I didn't watch the show before or when they first first announced um, the figures um, I, I, I picked it up as soon as I saw that and it was kind of like this has been on my to watch list for a good couple of years now so let's get onto it and stuff so I really like it it's 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 going along it's weird it's got about a lot of, it's got the same problem Naruto did with everybody is a copy of the generation before itself, but a little different. Um, like they kind of try to learn from the failures of the past. So here we go. These are the four I picked up. They are really nice, and it's really cool that they're continuing technically with the Naruto line into Barto. Um, that they, they could really just kind of do like all the parents now. I feel like from here. Um, as they did for Naruto. Um, I'm a little sad that uh, Sarda doesn't stand... She stands well, but she doesn't stand great, and she doesn't have the the, the nice design that mo like, like the, the most of them do, because even um, the Sage Mode has... The little snake does touch the ground here. They did make it flat, so it does help towards the base, like extending his feet, so he stands better. Um, once again, I like, um, and they, I, I really hope they continue doing that with all anime ones. Like they do just add like dust cloud, something cool, just that's like unique to the character to help them stand just a little better. Um, if they don't give them a stand because, or instead of a stand. So that's my goal. Uh, that's my hope. Um, this is a cool line. I'm really happy they're continuing with it. Uh, once again, now I have all these ones in Barto, which is the Barto Naruto as the Hokage, um, which is pretty much the set for me. I'm not going to be. Uh, unless I get extremely lucky in a trade or something like that, that somebody actually wants to do it um, and go through with it, <laughs> um, I'm not going to be getting um, the Hokage is Chase one because uh, I'm not going to buy it flat out because that's just too much and I feel all these places are gouging prices for Chases of anime pops. Come on, I'm like, yes, the anime has a big fan base. Does not mean you should rob us. <laughs> Uh, just my opinion. I'm like, come on, normal chases, $25, pretty much standard, like, is what it is across the board. Um, if they're exclusive to a place like Scar or let's say Hades and stuff like that, they go up. But not like, uh, it shouldn't go up just because they're anime chases and that's what these are doing because they give them to special locations. But 
This is a cool, cool line. Highly recommend it. Very, very nice. I, I believe, do believe he's still on the Hot Topic website if you do want the Sage Mode. And the rest are all commons, which you can get at whichever lo um, local shop you prefer to buy from. Um, I did wind up picking these ones up from Hot Topic using Hot Cash because that's the best use of high cash, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, so thank you all for tuning in. If you did like what I'm doing, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it's awesome if you do. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Joe popping on, and I'm going to be popping off. Toodles, y'all.